Tonight, the computer system that books passengers for flights on Alaska Airlines and Horizon has finally been restored. NBC 5's Laura Cavanaugh joins us live at the Rogue Valley International Medford Airport. And Laura, passengers are still streaming in at this hour, aren't they? That's right, Dan. We've got passengers from, from Los Angeles, but normally the Rogue Valley Medford International Airport would be a virtual ghost town at this hour. But thanks to dozens of delayed and canceled flights from Alaska Airlines, there are actually families waiting patiently for their loved ones to return home to Medford some 12 hours later than expected. This was the scene as Alaska Airlines canceled and delayed dozens of flights mid-morning at PDX. I don't really know what's going on. They just canceled my flight out of Eugene trying to get home my daughter and not a lot of communication. A similar mess in Medford and airports across the West Coast. So what's it been like? A whole lot of hurry up and wait. Those long waits are a result of a computer problem, reportedly from two Sprint fiber optic cables severed around 7.30 Monday morning. One in Wisconsin, the other between Portland and Seattle. And that computer failure prevented travelers from checking in, making reservations, even buying tickets. Ticket agents attempted to rebook passengers by hand, but there was no way they could keep up. The airline attempted to calm the nerves of testy travelers with pizza, soda, and sweets. Some were in the Rose City to run the Portland Marathon over the weekend and just wanted to get home. But this runner took the change in plans in stride. Things happen. I mean, after running a marathon, after putting yourself through that much physical drama, this is nothing. By noon, the airline reported that the computer system was back up and running, but the aftermath of that glitch resulted in airport aggravation, affecting at least 6,000 frustrated flyers system-wide. Like this young man headed from Medford to Portland for Air Force basic training. If I get to Portland by today, I'll be just fine. But if the delays cause me to leave on a different day, my whole entire training has to be set up differently. And I have to come back maybe months later. And some whose day was altered completely like this Klamath Falls resident who was stranded in Seattle all day. I thought I was going to be here in the morning and make it home around noon and got here and there were tons of people pretty much standing in line. There was no order. I was in line for about three hours. There was frustration, but I didn't have anywhere I needed to be and I wasn't worrying about it. Well, we're back here live now. It's a good thing that Mara didn't have any pressing business to get back to. That flight from Seattle to Medford, originally scheduled at 10.30 this morning, is scheduled to touch down in Medford after midnight tonight. Now, that Sprint data connection, the one that caused all the commotion, it has since been restored, and things are scheduled to actually scheduled to go back to normal. All flights will be back to normal tomorrow. But Alaska Airlines is advising all travelers to check their flight status information, and they can do so. We have a, a number on the screen by texting your flight number to 2 252752 so you can get your accurate flight status information. Live in Medford, Laura Cavanaugh, NBC5 News.